It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Lauren Taylor, who is a senior at Francis Marion, and she put up some really big numbers last week. As a matter of fact, these are some big numbers, Lauren, that I looked at more than once and needed to verify just to make sure that one of them was real. A win over North Greenville, 85-62. Those aren't the numbers. Your double-double, though, that was the number right there. 34 points, pretty big night. 44 rebounds in a win. So I'd, I'd just love to hear what you think about that. I, I'm sure you knew it was going to be a big night, but what did you think and, and uh, what did you put together when, when someone told you, hey, you have 44 rebounds tonight? Um, in the moment, it didn't really feel like much. I was just playing my game. Um, I was really concerned about winning. We're in the middle of conference play, so right now every win counts. So in the middle of the game, just doing what I can do to make sure my team comes out with the dub. But after I realized that I was pretty high in uh, rebounds, um, in the middle of the game, I had a lot of people in the crowd chanting numbers and counting as I go along. Um, and then when I realized I was in the 40s, it's like, oh, okay, like I already beat the school record. Just, just add it to the resume. And then at the end of the game is when I found out that I ended up with 44, and that's when I found out it was the national record. So then that's when I really got excited and was in a state of shock. But in the moment, it didn't really feel like much. But, of course, afterwards, I was really excited for it. Yeah, that that is – it's a huge number. And, again, it, it almost doesn't look real. I I, <laughs> I had – I wanted to – I, as, a, as a good journalist, you, you need to get a second source. And I definitely wanted a second source on that one just to make sure that's real. Record for the NCAA, not just Division II, but all divisions in the NCAA. Talk about that. And, and again, you, you mentioned it, too. It, it, it's a big deal. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty exciting. It goes to show that it, division doesn't really matter in terms of what people are able to do. Um, there's talent on every level. So to be a part of history and to be the person who could do it on the Division II level, not necessarily the big stage, but still make a name for myself is really important. You put double-doubles on the board as just a, a regular part of, of your career, and, and actually this season as much as anything. 18 double-doubles this year so far and 45 overall for your career there with Francis Marion. Uh, it's it's something, though, that, that you've been growing at, too, but you're averaging 18 points a game, 14.8 rebounds per game. So it's not just the double-doubles per game, but you're averaging that for the season. Talk about what that means for your team. Um, so actually, that's always just been something that I've always been interested in is double-doubles. So not because of the scoring aspect, but it shows that I can do more than just score. Um, so I was taking pride in rebounding this year and finding ways to be beneficial to my team. Um, so right now, <clears throat> excuse me, right now we're very guard heavy. Um, and I realized that I could be an impact on the offensive and defensive end if I can just rebound for my team. So coming into every game with the mindset of doing what I can to help make sure that we win and, um, just coming out with the dub. I mean, honestly, the double, double just comes along. I'm really just trying to do what I can to make sure we win. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate the humility in that and the, and the team aspect too, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying talking about the numbers right now. And there are some big numbers. We're visiting now with Lauren Taylor here on the Summit, and I encourage you, please continue to enjoy the videos here. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. And visiting now, Lauren, the, your numbers, along with those Ws, have, have gone up as, as you have spent time there at Francis Marion. And so scoring numbers have gone up year by year, rebounding numbers at, at their highest ever what, what kind of work have you put into it now then to to build on that? As you've mentioned, rebounding is important. Um, So a lot of it started off the court. Um, I just had to change my mindset and realize that although I've always been pretty good here, there's always room for growth. Um, This past summer, I was focused a lot on the health aspect of it all. I lost some weight, um, got healthier, took care of my body more so that I'm able to move better on the court, um, which you can see now in the numbers uh, in terms of rebounding. Um, I think I'm like – eight or nine rebounds more in this average than I was last year. So I'm um, just trying to get my body together, get my mind together um, and just shift my mindset. Um, just continue to grow as I get older, because I do realize that my years in college are dwindling down, but that doesn't mean I have to become complacent. So I just keep working every day, finding different ways to be better. And that's really it. Well, I also appreciate that aspect of it too. I, I, it's It would be nice. I'm sure to get to play forever. They give you a limited time, but in that right. amount of time, you're at 959 for rebounds for your career, so you're headed toward another milestone. Uh, I would imagine that might mean something too. You're headed for a thousand, and if you keep up at the pace you're you're going right now, I mean you, you're going to hit that just staying with your average. Yeah, so actually, I'm actually very excited about that. I kind of think that would probably be my favorite um, accolade in my entire college career because when I actually was in high school, had the chance to get a thousand rebounds in high school, and had a 
uh, surgery in the middle of my senior season that kept me from getting a thousand rebounds. And it's always followed me since then. Um, so I'm just excited to have the opportunity to finally attempt to get it. Um, no pressure or anything, but yeah, it's just, it's just something I'm really excited for. It goes to show my hard work over the uh, few years that I've been here and just continue to work towards it. And then even once that record's broken, um, the work here is not done. We got to see what we can do after that. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm cheering for you then, knowing that is a backstory <laughs> that uh, you came close and didn't have the opportunity. So I'll, I'll tell you right up front, uh, I, I do my best to be neutral on the channel, but I'm cheering for you to get that record too. Well, let's, let's wrap up the time then for sure, as, as you've talked about it more than once. 17 and seven right now for the team coming into uh, the, this late part of the season. We're in the home stretch right now. 12 and three though in conference play. And so that's a big deal. Uh, talk about closing out your senior season. And, and uh, you know, you, you were mentioning <clears throat> you were playing. Um, so right now, I feel like me and my team are in that stretch of the season where um, it's no longer a physical battle. It's more of a mental battle. It's a really long season. And we're um, trying to figure a way, figure out a way to keep winning um, so that we have the momentum going into the tournament. So we're super excited. We still feel like we have, we're in a good place. Um, but like I said, just still trying to figure out a couple of things on and off the court for every single one of us individually and collectively. Um, so that when it comes down to it in March, we're able to get the dub. Um, we've come up short a couple of times these past couple of years, and we all are gunning for a win in March. So that's all we're worried about right now. All right. Lauren Taylor from Francis Mary and, and the Patriots on a roll as the season is winding down. And uh, Lauren, again, 44 rebounds, a, a national record in the NCAA regardless of division, definitely a division two record as well. And uh, by the way, as of this recording, uh, the player of the week hasn't been recognized for national player of the week. It's, it's an honor that you've had a couple of times before, including already this season. I, I would imagine this has to be, and if you'll pardon the sports analogy, the easiest slam dunk that <laughs> uh, the division two uh, CIDA would ever, ever come about and National Player of the Week. Hope you get that honor as well. But thank you so much for taking time with us here on the Summit and uh, let the rest of your season go well. We're, we're looking forward to seeing how it turns out. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the support.